Amen. How many know the Lord's been good to us? Amen. 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 Who's next? By the way, we got fifty-six dollars in the love offering. Give the Lord a hand. Amen. Amen. Who's next?
He said, now Daniel, there's no God, why not worship me? Well, I buried my head much deeper and I cried with all my mind. Your lies will never work on me, now get on out of my side. And I kept on praying, I kept on praying. I prayed three times a day unto the Lord. Fifteen days have come and gone. I'm weak from fasting now. Oh, Satan said unto me, you've lost the battle now. Well, I prayed and wept and cried to God, though I did not feel a thing. I said, my Lord, I know you're real, and I let the prayer bells ring. And I kept on praying. I kept on praying. I kept on praying three times a day unto the Lord. Twenty days passed away, and still I see no sign. The devil said unto me, Son, the light will never shine. Now, Daniel, you pray unto the Lord, but your battle's over now. I said, Come back tomorrow, and I'm going to show you how. And I kept on praying, I kept on praying, I prayed three times a day unto the Lord. The twenty-first day is dawning, but something's different today. The devils were not present now to hinder me when I pray. But behold, a hand just touched me, I heard the good Lord say, Oh, Daniel, my beloved son, I heard you the very first day. And I kept on praying. I kept on praying. I prayed three times a day unto the Lord. I kept on praying. I kept on praying. I prayed three times a day unto the Lord. Yes, I kept on praying to the Lord. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. God's good. Amen. You know, I believe God's really wanting to do something tonight because the devil is trying to fight. Amen. And you know what? Glory to God. I found out something, Johnny. If the devil's fighting you, that means you're doing something right. If the devil's fighting you, you're close to your breakthrough, you're close to your victory. And the devil sees it and he knows it. Amen. But let me tell you something. Glory to God. We don't need to give up when, when he's fighting us. See, a lot of times we, we feel like we're growing tired. We feel like we're growing weary. And we say, well, I'll just back up just a little bit. Huh? And we'll back up just a little bit. And that's what he wants us to do. Is to back up just a little bit. Amen. Because he gets a little bit more footing when we're backing up. Amen. But going to get there's one hand out of the out of the There's one thing that I found out. You don't run from the devil. You go head to head, toe to toe with him in the name of Jesus. Because I'm here to tell you something right now. He's a defeated foe. And it ain't by any great work that we've done, Johnny, but it's by the great work that our Lord Jesus Christ done at Calvary. Good God, we run around. Good God, where our heads hung low. We run around, good God, walking under condemnation and everything else. And it's time that we shake it off and say, I'm taking back what the devil stole from me. Some of you stole your health. Some of you stole your finances. He stole your peace. He's tearing your life apart. He's tearing your family apart. And it's time that you take back what he stole from you. It's time that you stand ground and say, it's mine. God gave it to me. Get thee behind me, Satan. Get thee behind me, glory to God. It belongs to me because Jesus gave it to me. Amen. Your peace is gone. Glory to God, get it back. Amen. You say, I don't feel victorious anymore. Well, get it back. Amen. Start walking in that victory. Uh, oh, yeah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm going to try this. I don't even know the discs up. I don't know. I need to clean these discs up and get some more copies. I 
I'm kind of homesick for a country to which I've never been before. No sad goodbyes will there be spoken. And time won't matter anymore. Beulah Wayne. Thank you. 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 Come 
Come on. Bless him, Lord. Uh, Praise the Lord. When was the last time I've asked this? When was the last time that you was drunk in the Holy Ghost? Come on. Come on. When was the last time that you slain in the Spirit? Uh, come on now. Try, brother. Come on. When was the last time that you was just lost in the Lord and you didn't Amen. care who was around you, just you and the Lord? Come on, come on friend. Uh, but you don't realize I got all these problems. I didn't ask about your problems. Amen. We've all got problems. Amen. And we need to pray for one another. Amen. Amen. Come on. But if you, <laughs> you want to make it through them problems. Come on. You want to spend some time with just you and Jesus. Amen. Come on, that's good. Amen. You want to make it through them trials. Uh -huh. You got to spend a little bit of time with just you and Jesus. Can somebody Amen. hear me tonight? Oh, if you want to make it through all that, you got to spend some time with him. Johnny, what's happened? We're, we're like Adam, amen. Lord God, he, he'd walk in the cool of the day with the Lord, amen. Adam would walk in the cool of the day, but Lord God, one day Adam weren't there. Hallelujah. The Lord had to come looking for him, amen. And he found out, Lord God, that Adam had sinned, amen. We're doing the same thing. We've been walking with him, but somewhere down the line we sinned, amen. Somewhere down the line we erred, and the Lord's looking for you. Come on now. He's looking for you. He says, I miss that time that we had together. I miss that time when me and you just get out there and fellowship and have us a good old time. I miss that time that you come to me in prayer. I miss that time that you came to me in worship and just lifted me up just me and you. I miss that time. He's calling somebody. He said, come on home. He says, you've been gone long enough. You've been astray long enough. You might say, well, I'm going to church. Lord God, that's great, but it takes a little bit more than just going to church. Yeah, it does. I'm talking about a relationship. Amen. Come on, friend. Amen. I've become so cold that we can't even recognize the moving of the Spirit. I've seen people shout under flesh, shout about flesh, and then when the Spirit moves, they can't even recognize it. He's here tonight, but you believe me or not? Amen, He's here. Keep going. <clears throat> and I tell you what, brother, I just want to see his face on fire. Or I want to see myself burning with a passion for him like I've never had. Yeah, come on. Come on. Amen. We've been tested, we've been tried. But where are we? Are we burning out? Is there's a flame burning out, Johnny? Let's give it y'all. Is our lamp flickering tonight fixing to go out? Because we're running out of oil. Come on, folks. You know, you read about the ten virgins. Five was wise and five was foolish. Huh? The five wise, they took oil with them. They made sure they had enough oil. Amen. The five foolish didn't. Oh, come on. I'm going to say something. Brother J.R. can't work my salvation out for me. I can't work his salvation out for him. The Bible told me to work out my own salvation Amen. with fear and truth. I can't live it for you, Johnny. You can't live it for me, Johnny. I got to live it for myself. I got to work it out with fear and trembling myself. But glory to God, brother, we're trying to get somebody else to, to work it out for us. We're trying to get somebody else to do it for us. Let me tell you, I've never seen like the day, brother Johnny, glory to God, where people don't want to hear sin preached against anymore. They want something to tickle their ears. They want something to give them a few chill bumps. But don't touch sin. Yes, tell them about the goodness of the Lord. Tell them about the mercy and love of the Lord. They love to hear that. But when you go tell them about the wrath of God, when you go tell them about the judgment of God, when you go tell them that sin will take you to hell, they don't want to hear that. They'll turn a deaf ear. Right. 
to him, Lord. It's true. Amen. I want the fire to burn. Yeah. Oh. Hallelujah. I'm going to step in a minute. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Folks, where are we? Where are we with him tonight? You say, I've called out on his name, and that's good. He said, I believe there's one God. That's good. He says that the devils believe there's one God and they fear and tremble. But he said over in his word, Matthew chapter 7, he said, Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. Brother, there's a gospel being preached. Salvation without repentance. That's him all. That's not the salvation of the Bible, amen? amen? If I truly believe, Johnny, then I will repent. And I'll go on and I'll be baptized if I believe. But you cannot be born again without repentance. Huh? He said, not everyone that said, Lord... Uh, not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. What is his will? Well, he gave it to us right here. We know what his will is. Uh, his word was given to us. Amen. That is his will. You say, Lord, speak to me. Well, he's speaking to you every time you open his word up. Uh, he's speaking to us. I know he can speak to my spirit. He can speak to your spirit. But he speaks to us through his word. How many knows that tonight? Amen. He speaks to us through his word. And he said, not everyone that said that to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that did the will of my Father, which is in heaven. Many will say to me that day, and that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? Come on now. And in thy name have cast out devils. Oh, come on. Huh? And in thy name the many wonderful works. And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. I never knew you. There's a lot to say. They're doing things in his name. They're prophesying. But they're trying to cast out devils, but he don't even know them. Huh? You can flip the TV on. I'm not being mean. You can pick out any evangelist preacher on that TV. And they'll say what they're doing. They're doing it in the name of the Lord. That's what they'll tell him. Huh? Come on now, folks. But what is really happening? We got them preaching Jesus died spiritually. We got them preaching prosperity message, all this stuff, taking people to hell. Come on now, folks. Hallelujah. Let me tell you, glory to God, they're not preaching the word of God. They're not telling them about how Jesus came and died for them at Calvary. Amen. They're not telling them that how they must believe and repent of their sins and go on and be baptized. Amen. Because the Lord commanded so. Amen. They're not teaching them. Then once, glory to God, all these things has taken place, you've got to walk a straight and narrow path. Amen. You've got to walk away, glory to God, that leads to righteousness. Amen. Come on now. Well, let's back it up here. 13th verse, chapter 7. Enter you in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. That broad path take you to hell. Well, I can smoke my dope, and I'm all right. No, you ain't. 
I can pop my pills, drink my liquor, and I'm out. No, you ain't. You're on your way to hell if you're doing those things. I don't no. care if you're a deacon. I don't care if you're a pastor. I don't care if you're an evangelist or call yourself an apostle or call yourself a prophet or any of these things. If you're doing this stuff, you're on your way to hell and you're leading people to hell with you. Amen? Come on now. I'm just being blunt tonight. But I'm tired, glory to God, of seeing what I'm seeing happening in the body of Christ. Hallelujah. I believe, glory to God, it's time to start warning God's people. Wake up. You can't have it your way. Glory to God, this ain't Burger King. Lord God, I'm talking about this is the kingdom of God. I'm talking about this is living for Him. It's not Burger King. Come on now. Burger King, you can have it your way. But living for the Lord, you've got to go by the Word of God. Amen. we got to strive for that mark, Johnny. And I know I can't do it without Him. I know I can't do it unless I'm trusting in Him. I know I can't do it unless I have a prayer life. Amen. 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 Because straight is the gate. Huh? It's the way Amen. which leadeth unto life. And few there be that find it. Right. I've heard him say, I don't mind going up there and hear Brother Fred preach because he huh? preaches against my alcohol. He preaches against my pills. I've heard him say I'd rather turn so-and-so on the TV. Come on now. Because they make me feel good. There's a way that seemeth right unto man. But the end there is destruction. That's good. Come on. If I can't preach you the truth, I don't need to be preaching if I can't preach you the truth, if I can't preach you what's in that word right there, God, I don't need to be pre I need to sit down and say, Johnny, get up here and preach. Or I need to sit down and say, Stacy, get up here and preach. Or I need to sit down and say, somebody get up here and preach. Glory to God, because I take this thing serious tonight. I tell you right now, I wouldn't be pastor of this church. I wouldn't be preaching, glory to God, if I didn't really believe in my heart that God called me and placed me. Amen. Because I'm here to tell you, glory to God, that you may think it's all hunky door, but let me tell you something. You're going to preach the truth, uh, you're coming under fire. If you're going to preach the truth, there ain't going to be many people that like you. They're going to come against you. They're going to persecute you. They're going to lie on you. They're going to do everything they can to try to discredit you. But let me tell you something, we got to keep preaching because they've done it to Jesus too. Amen. They persecuted him. They lied on him. But he kept on. Amen. But let me tell you something, he preached more about hell than he did heaven. Uh, they don't want to preach about hell no more. Tell me about heaven. I'll be glad to tell you about heaven. But let me tell you a little bit about hell also. Yeah, anybody ever read Lazarus and the rich man? How Lazarus was a beggar and he's just covered with sores. Dogs come and lift him. He, he was so hungry. He, he'd been happy just having crowns on that Amen. rich Amen. man's table. Uh, the Bible said that Lazarus died and he was carried into the bosom of Abraham by the angels. Amen. No rich man died. He lifted his eyes up in hell. Huh? And he had seen afar off. I was Lazarus in the bosom of Abraham. There he was. Huh? He has been comforted. Amen. See, Lazarus didn't have nothing in life. I think about poor little mom. She'll be gone three years, I think it's this week. I mean, March the second, yeah. She didn't have much in life. But she's got it now. Amen. 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 Huh? That's the same way with Lazarus. He didn't have much in life. But he was comforted. He had it then. 
And that old rich man sinned it. And that rich man was in that plane. And he wanted Abraham to send Lazarus across there uh, to just drop a little drop of water on his tongue because he was tormented uh, in that plane. Let me tell you something. Hallelujah. They'll burn and they'll burn and they'll burn. And they'll feel every bit of it. Every bit of that torment they will feel, brother. But they'll never burn up. Come on now. Do you hear what I'm saying? Some of them says, well, they go to hell and they just burn up. No, 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 no. It don't work that way. They, they're getting payment for the way they lived here on this earth. They're getting payment for the way they rejected Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. Glory to God. Hell is real and there's a lot down there today that was set on the front bench of church every Sunday, every Wednesday. But glory to God, they didn't walk with him, brother. They called out, Lord, Lord. They shed a few crocodile tears. But glory to God, their heart worked out with him. Amen. Let me tell you something. I want to be real tonight. If I can't be real, I want to get out of it and forget it. Amen. If I can't be real, I don't want no part of it. Do you hear what I'm saying tonight? I knelt down years ago. I said, Lord, no matter what I face, no matter what I go through, Lord, I'll serve you until the day that I die. And let me tell you, I've been through enough to break most people, Johnny. I've been through enough to destroy most people. But go to God on the inside. When I feel like giving up. God on the inside, He raises up and He gives me what I need to keep going. Do you hear what I'm saying tonight? You can live for Him if you want to. You can live for Him if you want to. You can walk with Him if you want to. But you got to get your mind made up. It don't matter what mama says. It don't matter what daddy says. It don't matter what husband, wife, or kids, grandkids, or what say. You got to live for Him. But you got to get your mind made up. Lord, I'm going to do this thing. I'm going to do this thing, Lord. We got to get our mind made up, sister. We got to get our mind made up. And we're going to do this no matter what happens. No matter who rejects us. No matter who turns on us. We got to get our mind made up, Lord. I'm walking that straight and narrow. Yeah, come on. Uh, I'll tell you what, one day they'll love you. They'll love you. They'll say how wonderful it is for you to be in their life. And the next day, Johnny, they'll say you're the scum of the earth. Come on. Amen. Right, come on. But you got to keep walking. Yeah. You're on a straight and narrow. You can't stop. You got to keep walking. Don't look at that broad path. That broad path take you to hell. It may look easy. It may look real easy. That broad path may look real easy. But it'll take you straight to hell. Do you hear what I'm saying? You may think, well, I'll just step over here just a little bit. Get a little bit of this heat off of me. Uh -uh -uh -uh. That path to take you to hell. You better stay on that straight and narrow. Keep walking toward Jesus. Huh? Come on now. Keep walking toward Jesus. Hallelujah. Because let me tell you something you don't want to hear. You don't want to hear him say, depart from me. I never knew you. I, I never knew you. Depart from me. Ye that work in iniquity. You don't want to hear them words. I don't want to hear them words. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. I, I, I go to God, you can't sell out for money. And there might be some preachers out there listening or will listen. You can't sell out for money. That's what's happened to some of you in your ministry. You sold out for money. That's the reason why things are crumbling now. You sold out for money. You, you took the dollar signs instead of the souls. Amen. You went after that instead of the souls. That's the reason why things are crumbling around you now. How you got to hear what? You sold out. You sold out. You sold out for the almighty dollar. You sold out. You made that dollar your God. You worshipped it. Amen. And that's the reason why you're in a mess now. But if you get on your knees and cry out to the Lord, say, Lord, here I am. And repent. What I mean, repent. What? Be real. Be real. Thank God. Thank God will forgive you. He'll restore. How many believes he can restore? Amen. Amen, brother. Yeah. I've been on bottom, Johnny. 
This guy's new. Come on, Barry. That same word was you seen? Running generators for electricity. Not too big for my britches. God had to humble me down. I was sitting up there on the bench. I was sitting there one day. But I'm just thinking about how good things was. We never had a church full. God was blessing. And all of a sudden I heard this. I heard this, Johnny. He said, I'm going to tear you down and build you back up. You have the Lord speak that to you. Huh? So I went through a little storm and I thought that was it. I thought, well, this is good. I didn't know what was in store. And he did exactly what he said he was going to do. He humbled me. He brought me down. And he's still building on me now. Come on now. Hallelujah. I don't want to get too big for my britches again. He said if you exalt yourself, he will abase you. But if you'll humble yourself, if you'll humble yourself, he'll exalt you in due season. Too many is looking for the glory of man. Anything they do, brother, they got to have their name tagged to it. So somebody will see it and give them glory. Whether it's to help somebody or whatever, they got to have their name tagged to it so they can get the glory of man. But Lord God, I find in the Word of God when we go to help somebody. We need to do it in private. Amen. Amen. We don't need to make a big show of it yeah. and all this and try to get recognition of man. Amen. You know, that really bothers me. Somebody help you. Glory to God. Then go broadcast it all over the place. How they helped you and what they done for you. This and that. You know, I don't believe that's God's way. Amen. Oh, I believe, Lord God, if I go to help somebody, John, just like if I, if I can help you and I help you. I don't need to be broadcasting oh. to, to this and, or that and trying to get the glory of man. But glory to God, I need to do it and go on about my business. Amen. How I go on about my business and be happy that I was able to help. Amen. See, there's too much pride today. Brother. Too much pride behind the pulpit. Too much pride going on today. Amen. But do they keep in that state? I'm going to put this shit up. Try to anyway. But if they keep in that state, they're going to hear them words. Uh -huh. Huh? I never knew you. Depart from me, you that work iniquity. My, my, my. My, my, my. My question tonight is this. Are you tired of living a double life? Are you tired of being one person when you're in church or around Christian folk? But being another when you're out there? Maybe at the job, grocery store, friend's house? Huh? Are you tired of that? You see, I was once was blessed. I'm sure he was. But when you started living the double life, the blessing stopped. Because God can't bless sin. How many knows with that? He cannot bless sin. And he will not bless sin. Are you tired? Brother Jower, can you get a stone on your room? Are you tired tonight? I know these last several meetings have been different, but let me tell you something. I believe they've been ordained by God and put in place by God. Amen. Sister, he's wanting us to come a little bit closer. You know, Johnny, I believe he's got so much for his people if we just lay some things down and grab a hold of him. Amen. Brother J.R. sings a song here. <clears throat> if you feel God dealing with you, and I don't drag nobody to the altar, I don't believe in that stuff. Amen. And I'm not trying to guilt nobody into the altar. I want it to be the Holy Ghost that convicts your heart to bring you to the altar. But if you feel the Spirit of God, you feel the Holy Ghost of convicting your heart tonight, come on up here and have a little talk with him. If you feel the drawing of the Spirit, have a little talk with Him right here. 
Thank you, Jesus. Is there another tonight? If you can feel that spirit drawing from you, ladies, come and pray, please. Those are table, amen. It looks like. If you can feel the spirit drawing you tonight, come on up here. Do you remember that fire you once had? Do you remember that zeal that you once had? Do you remember that hunger, according to God, that you once had? Well, you can get it back tonight. All it takes is just having a little talk with it. And if he's drawing you tonight, I'd be running up here. If he's drawing, I don't believe any man can come to him unless he's drawn by the Spirit. And that's according to the Word of God. And if you feel him drawn, I'd run up here. Don't let pride get in your way. He said, well, I've been to that altar a thousand times. But I've got up done the same way. Go for a thousand or more. Amen. Especially if you feel God drawing you tonight. Amen. Get in there till you get it right. Amen. Get in there till you get it right. Amen.
service. I will say this. If you have us come up and feel the Lord dealing with you, call on these pastors and preachers and deacons. Call Stacy and Pam, anybody in this church, they'll be willing to pray with you. Amen. 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 That's one thing I can say about this little church. Right. Amen. We love each other. Amen. Right. No matter what comes, Sister Ann, we love each other. Amen. Amen. 
Has anybody got anything they want to say? If not, Wednesday night, 7 o'clock, time expecting something. Amen. Amen. Then next Sunday again at 4 o'clock. So you got time to push a plate back and pray Amen. for the service here. Amen. 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 I'm going to challenge everybody to push one meal away this week. Lord's wanting to do something in this little building. Amen. Devil's fighting it too hard, folks. Amen. 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 So it's time we square our shoulders back. Go back to the old landmark. Amen. 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 Let's push a plate back this week. Amen. One plate. Amen. Go into your secret closet. Pray. Come on. Amen. 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 So if everybody's mind, soul, heart, body is clean and cleared out, nothing to say, come back. Amen. Expecting something. Amen.